All right, what is going on everybody? Today's video I'm pretty excited about. It is the culmination of about a year's worth of research, going through various magazines on the subject, as well as reading on the forums, talking to people, re-watching the show, going through, seeing some of the cars in person, and I've come up with a list of what you need if you want to build your own Nash Bridges tribute car. So we'll go through all those details here in this video, and to start off the conversation though, we're gonna talk about the car that was the inspiration for this car, and that is what is known in the community as the Otis Chandler uh, 71 Hemi Cuda Convertible. It is currently in the Brothers Collection, and I'll include a link in the description below to the video of that car that they did for their uh, channel. And what's really interesting is that car is Lemon Twist Yellow. And in the picture that Don Johnson saw on the back of the muscle car book, the car doesn't actually look lemon twist yellow, it looks closer to what you see in the TV show. And the reason for that, of course, was due to the lighting, where the sun was, settings on the camera, things of that nature, and so the color doesn't actually come through. So, when they started the production of the show, they went, they painted the car's lemon twist yellow because that's what they were on the Otis Chandler car, and when they went and started filming, the color washed out and just didn't show up well on camera. So, of course, they had to scramble and find another color to paint the cars, and well, that's where things get really interesting is what color did they actually paint the cars. Now, unfortunately, this is one part that I have not been able to get a 100% resolution on, which I'm a bit disappointed in myself, but I've, I've exhausted all the options that I have. So if anybody out there has any better information than what I have on this, I'd be more than willing to hear it and go ahead and put that in the comment section below uh, because I would love to get an actual answer on this. There are rumors out there that it was they were repainting Curious Yellow, that it was originally Curious Yellow, that's not true, the cars were originally Lemon Twist Yellow. Curious Yellow has some green in it and is a lot brighter, definitely not Curious Yellow. Um, there's rumors that it was painted Bahama Yellow, which is another factory color that is not true, it's not Bahama Yellow either. So the three prevailing colors that the internet seems to have out there is Caterpillar Fleet Yellow, uh, School Bus Yellow, and Sherwin-Williams Safety or Hazard Yellow. Now, going through and comparing these colors as best as I can side by side, the best I can do is determine that it was Sherman-Williams Safety Yellow. Now, there's a couple reasons why I believe that. One, Caterpillar Fleet Yellow has too much brown in it from my eye to be accurate for this car. Um, School Bus Yellow seems to be a little bright. Um, the Sherman Williams safety yellow or hazard yellow seems to be appropriate. In one of the articles I read from the early 90s or mid 90s, uh, where they interviewed the person who actually built these cars, uh, he said it was a Sherman Williams color, so they're right off the bat, and he said it was similar to a school bus yellow. Now, I went through Sherman Williams catalog that I can get access to now. They don't have a school bus yellow in their catalog. Now, they may have had one back in the mid 90s and it may have been that color, but I'm doing some more research online, seeing some posts from people that say that they know the person who built these cars, said that they used the Sherwin-Williams Safety Yellow. So that is what I'm gonna say is the right color for these cars, is the Sherwin-Williams Safety Yellow. Uh, it seems to be about the right shade, and it's an actual Sherwin-Williams color, which the builder actually acknowledged that he used the Sherwin-Williams color. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, and so, if it, like I said, if anybody knows the contrary to that and has some definitive proof, because I've seen some posts of people who are adamant, no, it's this color, it's that color, and you, no, it's absolutely not those colors. So if you know for a fact or can put me in touch with the person, I've tried to reach out to the person who did the cars, but I haven't been able to get them on the phone. The phone numbers that I've been able to dig up for them are no longer active, which isn't necessarily surprising because they're from like 25 years ago. So that is, of course, I, one of the most important details, uh, which is unfortunate that I haven't been able to get 100% certainty on that, but it is what it is. So we'll go through. I've got my laptop here with the list of all the stuff that is pertinent as besides the color as well, so that way you can go ahead and keep track of these yourself. So, of course, even though none of the cars used in the show had a 426 Hemi because they were insanely cost prohibitive, uh, the car was based to have a 426 Hemi and a four speed. Some of the cars did have four speeds, some of them had automatics, some of them were 318 cars. Uh, there was a 440 car, 340 car, so variety of engines and transmissions used during the actual filming. But if you want to be correct to what the car was supposed to be, 
It's a 426 Hemi and a pistol grip four speed. Of course, it also had a body colored grill to match the exterior paint. Uh, as if you know your Mopars, you know that you could get either a body colored grill or an Argent silver grill on these cars like the Otis Chandler car actually was. Um, they also, one thing that they strayed away from from the factory with the body color grill was instead of chrome uh, headlight rings, it has body colored headlight rings. Uh, so that's another little detail to keep track of. And then of course the shaker hood, white interior. Now the white interior is really interesting because they had four cars in the original TV show plus the car in the reboot, they did have a variety of upholsteries. So the hero car uh, had 1970 Cuda upholstery in it. Um, I believe it currently has 71 upholstery in it. Uh, several cars, of course, have the correct 71 Cuda upholstery. And then the car used in the reboot actually had uh, 71 leather upholstery in it. So take your pick, whichever one you prefer, I guess, uh, is the one you can go ahead and go with between those three because all three of them were used and all three of them show up on film. And then from there, of course, they all had rally gauges. They all had the tough wheel. Um, some of the things that were unique were the bumpers. Uh, there were at least three different bumpers used depending on which car it was and which season they were filming. The Hero car has a 1970 Elastomeric bumper. There was also at least one car that had a 71 Elastomeric bumper installed at some point during the filming. Uh, the t original TV show, they all had chrome metal rear bumpers and some of them had painted front bumpers because elastomeric bumpers weren't exactly common or cheap. And so if they had cars that already had them, great. If they didn't, they painted the chrome bumpers uh, to match the body color to simulate the elastomeric bumper. And then the reboot car has both front and rear elastomeric bumpers. So it's the only one to not have a chrome rear bumper. So again, depending on which one you wanna go with, you have several options to choose from on what type of bumpers you want to be running. Uh, from there, of course, you got your standard stuff. You got like hood pins, fog lights, things of that nature, side rocker moldings, uh, dual painted racing mirrors, uh, not chrome mirrors. And then uh, the wheels and tires were 15.7 rally wheels. Now, even though Don Johnson in one episode does say that he's running polyglass GTs, which would have been correct for that car from the factory in 1971. So you can tell most of the time he's running BFG radial TAs because it's the most common uh, muscle car tire with raised white letters that's available today. And then of course, from there, they also had a column mounted uh, tack. Um, the exact details of what tack that uh, was used during filming, I haven't been able to determine. I talked to the owner who has uh, Hero Car, which is car number one. It does have a column mount tack. He's not sure if it was the one that was on the car when they were used during filming. So not really certain on that. And then some of the other finer details on the interior besides the rally gauges and being a four speed of the console and tough steering wheel is the type of windows they had. Uh, several of the cars had manual roll-up windows, but there was at least one car that was a factory power window car. So if you want to build a car with manual windows or one with power windows, you take your pick. Either one would be correct depending on which of the cars were used during what scenes. And so those are a lot of your heavy hitters for your uh, details if you're gonna go ahead and build a tribute to the Nash Bridges car. Um, as you can tell from this video, there are a lot of variations because they use multiple cars and trying to get all of the parts the exact same on all the cars was of course a bit of a challenge. Uh, at least one of the cars, of course, also had an 8-track player as referenced several times throughout the series uh, by them wanting to play 8-tracks in the car. Um, but of course, those are really fine details that you don't necessarily need to have fun with your own Nash Bridges tribute. And this covers the real big ticket items that you need if you wanna go ahead and build one. Uh, if you have any other information that I've overlooked or neglected, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. I'm definitely interested in what you have to say on the subject. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, if you know for a fact what the actual color is, like you're the person who painted the cars, um, I would be really interested to in hearing what you think, um, but based off of all of the research that I've done, countless hours going through um, books, magazines, interviews, forums, you name it, going through it, the best thing I can come up with is the Sherwin-Williams Safety Yellow. It looks about right, and it, based off the information I've got, that's really what the color is. So 
If you like today's video, go ahead, smash that like button. It helps me know what types of videos to make for you guys in the future. And of course, I recommend you go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well. It doesn't cost you guys anything and it keeps YouTube uh, letting you up to date of all the videos I do in the future. And on that note, guys, I will see you in the next video.